Hi, I'm Harry Forbes from ARC Advisory Group. I'm here with Pat McCurdy, Vice President, Industry Management and Automation from Phoenix Contact. Pat, welcome to the forum. Thank you. Glad to be here. It's nice to have you. Recently, Phoenix Contact introduced a new product concept called PLC Next, which we're having trouble classifying. It's a PLC, it's a pack, it's an edge controller. Can you tell us a little bit about PLC Next technology and what it is? Yeah, thanks, Harry. So I understand the question. We, uh, we describe it really in three fundamental ways. First, it is an open, secure, reliable, scalable control platform based on Linux that can be used for a variety of applications. The second way we describe it is it's IIoT ready. So our understanding really of IIoT and, and factory automation and process automation is that the customer requirement is often to collect data via IO and then do something with that data, manipulate it, send it to a cloud, perhaps on premise or, or Amazon or Azure, and do further computations in the cloud. So PLC Next gives you a platform to easily do that. And then the third thing is we think that it's really kind of a PLC reimagined. So really revolutionary where you can rely on IEC 61131 programming if that's your preference. However, if you want to use other engineering tools like Microsoft Eclipse, Visual Studios, you're also able to do that and uh, then get advanced computation capability on the device with high level languages. Okay, this is kind of a departure for Phoenix Contact. If we know Phoenix Contact from <coughs> connectivity, network infrastructure, that kind, of, that kind of solution, power supplies, et cetera. You guys are really connectivity and infrastructure. What made you branch into this area? Yeah, good question. So first of all, you know, PLCs actually are not new for Phoenix Contact. We've had a PLC product for about 20 years. Uh, we originally acquired a company called KW Software that was really a pioneer in IEC 61131. That was in the early 2000s. And we've had a product really since then. However, we've, we made the decision that we're really going to focus our activities on mainly German automotive market, and then we have a few U.S. customers. However, your point's well taken. We are really, our DNA is a connectivity company. Uh, it's often said that you can't open a control cabinet without seeing a Phoenix Contact product, whether it's terminal blocks, power supplies, relays, so forth. Absolutely. So first and foremost, we're a connectivity company. And I heard it recently said that if oil is the new data of the 21st century, connectivity is the gas station. So what do you expect from a gas station? Well, you want something secure, you want something reliable, you want it to be available. Those are all things that we really bring to all of our products. And, and I think it's a good basis and a good roots also for something like PLC uh, next. You know, for the uh, automation or the ARC forum here, we've talked a lot about the open process automation forum and there was mention of PLC Next. Can you explain what PLC Next role is in the Open Process Automation Forum and the pilot programs that are going on now in OPAF and in Namur? Yes, uh, certainly. So, you know, we really appreciate ExxonMobil's initiative around open process. And when they first announced it to the industry and the community, their idea, it really converged perfectly with our PLC Next development. And also our vision of having an open and scalable reliable platform for customers to build their control architecture off of. So we became active in that program with ExxonMobil and eventually got used on their prototype um, that they introduced, I think, to Arc last year. Uh, so since then, we've continued to work with them with PLC Next. Uh, and I think they would tell you that it's a good platform that meets their vision in that, again, it meets those open, reliable, interoperable, scalable, secure. Okay. Can you talk about vertical industries? Because you guys are, I think of you as being more horizontal with your infrastructure. Are there particular vertical industries that you're focusing on these days? Yeah, great question. And again, we are a, first and foremost, a very broad market supplier, you know, to many, many industries. So it's hard to, to kind of cage them into a few. But for the last 10 years, we've really focused on building up that domain expertise into some core verticals. So uh, mainly it's around the topics of electric power, whether that's wind and solar generation, that's typically our focus area on uh, electric power, as well as T&D and, and all the complexities around um, dis distributed power and distributed energy. Uh, secondly, process automation. 
and then also factory automation and infrastructure. So those four main pillars of industry are our focus, and then we segment in each one a little bit where our expertise lies here or there. But the main point was to build up really that domain expertise so that we could provide more value to our customers, particularly around the area of automation and, and control. Turning to technology, we see a lot of different technologies being developed simultaneously and coming into the market simultaneously in different industries and different sectors. What are the ones that are kind of top of mind for you guys at Phoenix Contact now? Yeah, so our roadmaps really, again, continue to be focused around areas that support kind of an open vision of automation. So, um, for example, one of the things that we're working on at the moment is really the APL standard, the advanced physical layer. So we really want to be able to be part of that uh, infrastructure, if you will, as it evolves to provide connectivity in the Ethernet realm down to the device. Uh, but of course, we're also continuing to develop other products uh, that are around our core areas of competence, including connectivity, but also, as you, as you mentioned, the infrastructure that goes along with networks and Ethernet uh, in the industrial factory and in the industrial space. Pat, thanks very much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. My guest has been Pat McCurdy from Phoenix Contact. Thank you for watching. <laughs>